Yom HaZikaron, La Shoah Vela Gura, is observed as Israel's day of commemoration for the six million Jews who perished in the Holocaust as a result of the actions carried out by Nazi Germany and its accessories. Please rise as we light these candles in their memory. We remember and give thanks for the righteousness of the nations who saved lives, often at risk of their own, teaching us how in the darkest night we can light a candle of hope. Exalted, compassionate God, grant perfect peace in your sheltering presence. Among the holy and the pure, to the souls of all the brethren, men, women, and children of the house of Israel, who were slaughtered and suffocated and burned to ashes. May their memory endure, inspiring truth and loyalty in our lives. May their souls thus be bound up in the bond of life. May they rest in peace. And let us say, Amen. El Malei Rachamim, Shechem Bamramim, Hamte Minucha Nechuna Tachat Kanfe Hashlina, Bama Alok Doshim Utorim Kizohar Harakia Mazirim, Et Nishmot Kol Achenu Bene Israel, Anashim Nashim Betaf, Shenit Behu Vishenichiku, Vishenif Srefu, Vishenehargu, Begon Eden Tehi Minuchatam, Ana Baal Harachamim Hi. Kaistirem beseter knafecha, lo lamim utsror bitror achaim, et nishmotehem. Adonai hu nachalatam, yam veyanuchu bishalom al mishkebotehem. Venomar, amen. The word holocaust comes from the Greek words holos, whole, and kostos, burn. In Hebrew, the holocaust is known as the Shoah. It refers to the time period from 1933 to 1945 when the Nazi regime systematically persecuted and mass murdered Jews, intellectually disabled, physically disabled, and homosexual gypsies and homosexuals. To the anti-Semitic Nazi leader Adolf Hitler, the Jews were an inferior race. Hitler was obsessed with the idea of the superiority of the pure German race and eliminating the Jews. On January 30th, 1933, Hitler was named Chancellor of Germany. After President Paul von Hindenburg's death in 1934, Hitler anointed himself as Führer, becoming Germany's supreme ruler. When Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1933, his regime and the rise of the Nazis began. November 9, 1938 was Kristallnacht, which in English means Night of the Broken Glass. The pogrom on November 9th and 10th saw over 7,500 Jewish shops out of 9,000 looted and attacked, and over 1,000 synagogues damaged or destroyed. Soon after Kristallnacht, the Nazis began systematically implementing their plans of persecution. In 1941, every person designated as a Jew in German-held territory was marked with a yellow star. Also in 1941, Jews from all over the continent, as well as hundreds of thousands of European Romani people, were transported to the Polish ghettos. The segregation of Jews in ghettos culminated to what the Nazis called the final solution to the Jewish question. Since June of 1941, experiments with mass killing methods had been ongoing at the concentration camp of Auschwitz near Krakow. By late 1941, the Germans began mass transports from the ghettos in Poland to the concentration camps. These concentration camps had terrible conditions with disease, almost no food, and harsh work conditions. The first mass gassings began at the camp of Belzic near Loveland on March 17, 1942. Within the year, five more mass killing centers were built at camps in occupied Poland, including Chelno, Sobibor, Treblinka, Medanek, and Auschwitz-Birkenau. These camps would be the cause of unimaginable horror. In 1933, there were around 9.5 million Jews in Europe, and by 1945, that number had dropped drastically. Approximately 6 million Jews and some 5 million others targeted for racial, political, ideological, and behavioral reasons died in the Holocaust. The Holocaust was the biggest tragedy in the past century, and it is the biggest slaughtering of Jews in world history. Anna Wiseman was a 12-year-old girl when Poland was invaded by the Nazis. Her family was put into ghettos and then slaughtered by the Nazis. Anna survived because she didn't fit the description of a Jew. Anna had blonde hair and blue eyes. This fit the description of a German girl. She was not killed and was able to escape the ghetto and migrate to Canada. She got on a ship and then went to Canada and has been there ever since. She, has two, she had two children and seven grandchildren that live in Canada and America today. She is my great-grandmother. 
Hadassah was a seven-year-old girl when the Nazis invaded Germany. Her family sent her off into the forest and she was running for five months. She finally was able to go to Britain and then get to Costa Rica. Hadassah passed away in 2015 after living a happy life. She was also Jonathan's great-grandmother. Six million Jews perished in the Holocaust. However, 3.5 million survived. These 3.5 million survivors are living proof that the Jewish people are strong and resilient. This also shows that the descendants of these survivors have learned about their family history and are proud of it. Born on September 30, 1928 in Sagat, Romania, Eli Wiesel pursued Jewish religious studies before his family was forced into Nazi death camps during World War II. Wiesel survived and later wrote the internationally acclaimed memoir, Night. At the age of 15, Wiesel and his entire family were sent to Auschwitz as part of the Holocaust. Wiesel was sent to the Buna labor camp, a subcamp of Auschwitz, with his father, where they were forced to work under de deplorable, inhumane conditions. They were, they were transferred to other Nazi camps and forced marched to Buchenwald, where his father died after being beaten by a German soldier. Just three months before the camp was liberated, Weisel's mother and younger sister Tsipora also died in the Holocaust. Eli was freed from Buchenwald in 1945. Of his relatives, only he and his older sister Beatrice and Hilda survived. This was one of his quotes. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. Hannah Senek was a paratrooper who was trained to save Jews. On June 7, 1944, she was captured and tortured by Nazis, but even then, she didn't give them inf any information. Senesh wrote a walk to Caesarea. It is said that history repeats itself. Therefore, we as a community need to make sure that injustices like the Holocaust doesn't happen again. As Jews, it is important and necessary for us to remember this because it was a tragedy that happened to our ancestors. The Holocaust needs to be remembered by everyone because of the inhumanity, murder, and discrimination Jews experience because of their religion. The Holocaust is a display of hatred and prejudice. Millions of people refuse to speak up against the aggressions and acts against humanity. Millions of people lost their lives after being brutally tortured and worked to death because of the belief that Jews were an inferior people. We remember what happens when hate takes hold of the human heart and turns it into stone. What happens when victims cry for help and there is no one listening. What happens when humanity falls, fails to recognize that those who are not in our image are nonetheless in God's image. The Holocaust needs to be commemorated to learn from it. Furthermore, 73% of American Jews say remembering the Holocaust is an essential part of being Jewish. The tragedy that was the Holocaust was unavoidable for the Jewish people because they had nowhere to go. In modern days, the Jewish nation has a home. Israel. By protecting our safe haven, we are glorifying the lives of those who died in the Holocaust. Those who died in the Holocaust aren't victims, they're heroes. In our community, we do certain things to glorify the legacies. For example, the Hip Trip is a five-week trip that sends our 10th graders to Israel.
Showing and not just teaching our students the beauty and necessity of Israel is protecting the legacy of Holocaust people who died in the Holocaust. Another thing our community does is give our students a Jewish education. The Jewish people have been around since biblical times. All other biblical nations have ceased to exist. It is a miracle that our people still exist, especially after murdering of, near, of nearly half of European Jews, Jews in the Holocaust. Getting a Jewish education is important because it keeps a nation that could have died out a future. Using our Jewish education, it is critical that as a generation, we listen to the stories of those who survived in the Holocaust. Our generation is the last to be able to meet living Holocaust survivors. It is our jobs that as time goes on, we don't let their stories be forgotten. Never forget because time does not lessen a tragedy. At DJDS, we do things to respect and commemorate the lives of those who died in the Holocaust. Yehei Shmei Rabah Mevorach Ulam Ulamei Almaya. Yitbarach Vishtabach, Yitbar Vichumam Vinase, Yitadar Vitalel Vitalal, Shmei de Kudesha Brichu, Leolam in Kol Birchata Vishirata, Tushbechata Venechemata, Damin Ram Veama Vimru Amen. Yehei Shlama Rabah Min Shemaya, Vechayim Alenu Velko Israel Vimru Amen. O Se Shalom Bimamav. Huya se shalom, aleinu ve'alko Yisrael, ve'alko b'nei adam, ve'imru amen.